Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. Today's video is all about how to get and maintain the silvery gray hair. This is probably one of the questions I get the most. I know I've kind of thrown in tidbits here and there throughout videos and my vlogs about my hair, shampoos, toners, but I thought I would just do one full video about everything to tie it all together. So hopefully this helps you out. First of all, I just wanna start with saying I am not a salon professional. Everything I'm about to tell you is just from personal experience and asking a lot of questions and working with my hairstyle. And then the shampoos and toners I'm gonna to show you, those are obviously things that I've done with trial and error, but as far as the professional side of things, this is what she's told me and what we've worked together on. So, disclaimer. <laughs> the first and most important thing in order to maintain a silvery gray hair color, you need to be able to get your hair platinum. I don't care what toner, what shampoo you use, nothing will get you the results or the color you want unless you literally lift your hair all the way up to a white or platinum blonde color. This is going to allow you to get to the silver toning and the gray tone. If you don't lift your hair and get it to the highest level possible, it won't work. My hair is naturally a dirty blonde, a dark blonde color, so I'm fairly lucky because it's really easy for my hair to lift and get to that white color. It doesn't take a lot of work or a lot of volume to get there. Another thing that we've added to my hair routine is a product called Olaplex. If you are darker hair or it's more difficult for you to get your hair to lift to be a lot lighter than it naturally is, I would recommend asking your stylist about Olaplex. I highly recommend that you go to a professional, especially when you're trying to bleach your hair or if you are naturally darker and you're trying to get to a really light white blonde color. You can completely damage your hair, it can fall out, you can ruin your hair. That's my disclaimer. I recommend you do not do this on your own. But I know there are a ton of people who do it on their own, so that's just my recommendation. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Just a little history. I get my hair done probably about every four to five weeks. The reason I do that is because it is short. Um, I do have a mohawk too, for those of you that don't know. It's shaved all the way back along the sides on both sides. So with having such short hair, whenever I get even just a few weeks of regrowth, I notice it instantaneously. And I have to be completely honest, I just love having fresh done hair. I just feel like a completely new person. This is about one week old hair. So I can already notice some regrowth along the sides. It's not as white and fresh as when I get it done right away. About after two weeks, I start to know it starts to look not as bright. And then the two to four weeks is when I'm like already feeling like I want to get it done again. So that's another thing to keep in mind is there's a lot of maintenance with doing going this hair color. So you have to be committed and want to be able to get it done at least every four to six weeks, I would recommend. Otherwise, you have too much growth and it's more difficult for your stylist to get you as light as you need to be. We added Olaplex to my routine probably a couple months ago. What it does, you can look it up online, but it's a three-step system. They actually claim that this is one of the only products that can go in and strengthen the internal bonds of your hair while being color treated. A lot of times products only go on the outside shaft of the hair to seal it, but this is one of the only products that says that while color treating your hair, it can actually go in to the internal bonds and strengthen your hair and have it be more healthy after being color treated. The first step, you apply in your color or your volume. They say you have to actually increase the volume when you're using this product because it almost dilutes the product. It's like putting water in cranberry juice. It dilutes it down. So you need to increase the amount of cranberry when you're adding the Olaplex. So for me, my stylist uses Paul Mitchell Lighten Up Volume 20 and she splashes in a little bit of volume 30 because I don't need a, a high volume to get my hair to lift easily. If you have darker hair, you're probably gonna need much higher volumes with using Olaplex. So mix this into the volume. Basically get your roots super bright all the way to a white color. And then step two is a kind of treatment conditioning process they do after 
they lighten you up. And then step three is the take home. About once a week, it's just a deep conditioning treatment. It says it helps your hair. Throw it on damp hair for about five minutes, let it soak in, and then wash it out. Shampoo and condition my hair like normal. So if you're someone who needs to go quite a few levels to get to platinum blonde, or even if you're getting your hair color treated all the time or it's fine like me, definitely give it a shot. I've noticed that it's helped my hair feel stronger and just a little bit more healthier and full actually. It is an additional cost when you go get your hair done at the salon. So make sure you just give your hair professional heads up or ask them about it, see if they're experienced in using it. And if they are, then I would suggest asking to see if you'd be a good candidate. It has helped with me going platinum and not getting as much breakage in my hair because my hair is so fine. Once you've reached white hair, platinum blonde hair, as light as your hair can go, then you can get to the silver color and the toning section. So what my stylist uses on me right in the salon, I wrote it down, she told me, it is the Kenra Demi Permanent Rapid Toner in Silver Violet. She uses that and that's what gives me an instantaneous silvery color. I noticed the tone of it, it's more blue, it's not as purple. And it is Demi Permanent, which means it's not permanent. So after so many washes, it does come out. That is why I use toning shampoo and conditioner. Literally after one wash, I kind of notice the color to the toner she uses has already kind of faded slightly. So to get more of this purpley, blue, silver gray color, this is the shampoo and conditioner I recommend. This is the Joico Color Endure Violet Shampoo and Conditioner. Now this is sulfate free for toning blonde gray hair. So if you are going for something like this, that's that silver purple with the blue undertones, this is highly recommended. Now for me, I literally only put a maybe quarter size amount in my hair and my hair takes to it so quickly that I just use it like a regular shampoo, wash it out and I get this color. But if I'm noticing I'm pretty brassy and I feel like I need it to work a little bit harder for me, if I haven't used it for like a week or a few days, then I'll put this on and let it sit for maybe a couple minutes. But if you notice that's not working, then let it sit for five minutes and see how it goes. But always just go for a really short period at first and then wash it off because otherwise you could end up with blue hair. And the other shampoo and conditioner I really like, if you are going for more of the gray silver, you don't want that purpley blue undertone, then this is what I recommend. This is the Matrix Color Care So Silver Shampoo. And then this is just a moisturizing conditioner that I like. But this you can leave on and it will not turn your hair blue or purple at all. This will give you just the straight, more of the gray silver hair. So I love this as well. And what I'll do is I'll tend to mix the two. So one time I shampoo, I'll use this. Another time I'll use this and kind of mix them back and forth. So highly recommend those. I got all of those at Ulta, I'm pretty sure. And those are my favorite shampoo and conditioners for toning and maintaining this type of hair color. When you go this light on your hair, it is very damaging. So I recommend n not shampooing your hair every day. I probably literally only wash my hair three times a week on average. And especially now that I can finally fit it into like little ponytails and stuff, my mohawk is growing out a little bit and I put it up, I don't need to wash it as much either. To give you, or just to show you my hair a little more from different angles, you can see it's definitely that like silver gray color. Also, this is super random, but I've noticed I have more of a yellow, I have a warm skin tone. It's yellow with some olive to it. So I noticed that with having a warm skin tone, the coolness of my hair is a nice contrast. So. Not to say that if you're a cooler pink skin tone that blue silver hair won't look good on you. I just have noticed on me personally that I really like the contrast of them together. Um, I definitely also have toned my hair on the warm side as well and I like both. But just right now, I'm just loving the silver gray color. So overall, to sum this all up, just want to make sure you know if you want to go the silver gray hair route, it's definitely an investment. You're gonna be at the salon. It could take multiple steps depending on what your current hair color is and what state it's in. So make sure you're willing to commit to that. You don't wanna put in all the work and money getting there and then not be prepared to maintain it. Also, going 
Platinum Blonde, just getting to that first step is very hard on your hair. So if you have fine hair or color treated hair, make sure you're going to someone who's experienced. A professional at a salon, ask around, get some recommendations for if you see someone else that has silver hair. I live in the Phoenix Scottsdale area, so if you guys live in this area, let me know. I'll link my girl below. She's amazing at hair color. And as you can tell, I have very fine hair. It, I do have a lot of it, it's just super fine. And then obviously by removing half of it on the sides, it looks even thinner. So that's why normally I like to actually wear it up or wear it in a mohawk, um, because when it's down, it just emphasizes how fine it is. But when you have fine thin hair and then you're color treating it and processing it as much as you need to, to get platinum blonde to then go to silver, you need to make sure you're going to someone who's experienced. Otherwise, you can completely ruin your hair. It can fall out. It can damage. It can be really bad news. When you go to the salon, I highly recommend you take photos of the color you're looking for. There's so many different types of silvers and grays. You can have the purple silver. You can have the blue silver. You can have the dark gray. You can have the lighter gray with purple undertones. So anytime I'm making a hair change, I always go onto Pinterest create a hair board, pin as many photos as I like, and even sometimes I'll pin ones I don't like. So when I go in and I talk to her, I'll show her, okay, I'm looking for these colors somewhere between here, and I don't like this because it's way too pink or yellow or, you know, that definitely helps give them an idea of what you're looking for. Overall, if you are looking to switch it up, do something fun, highly recommend the silver gray hair. I love it. I have such a good time changing up my hair color and toners are an amazing way to do that. For me to kind of switch up color, that's what I do is I play with toners. I hope that I've answered all of your questions. I hope this was helpful. If you do have a question or a comment, please leave them below. If you like this video or found it helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Until I see you in my next video, peace.